Hey everybody, thanks for joining me here at Power Mods. We're making changes to the Brute. Sometimes it's not always about buying the stuff and tacking it on. Sometimes it's about doing and creating yourself. That's a pretty cool looking machine. Looks good in silver, but it kind of also looks like your grandpa's machine when I look at it. So we're going to trim up the plastics a little bit. It's not going to be the best job in the world, but it's going to be a Louis Skibo Power Mods kind of job. I kind of like it so it just looks a little faster and shoots the mud a little bit better because we're about that, right? Uh, we do have a whole bunch of other stuff coming uh, to add to this, but I think based on what I've done to the other side, it's going to look pretty good. I've already trimmed up the other side, but I'm just going to show you what I do to trim plastics. You know, I've done this with sleds and other things. Uh, you just use your black magic marker here, you pin one finger on the bottom. I've already done the other side, so I know the height that I want. Let's do one of those. Right across there, my amp. One of those. Look about right, Simon. This is where I have my match mark. Now, I could add this flare. This flare just keeps a little bit of that mud from flying onto you, and uh, I kind of like getting dirty. So forget that flare, that flare is stupid. All I'm gonna do is just use my back finger, and I'm gonna just continue that line down. And if you do something that you don't like the look of, just come back and grab a, um, some brake cleaner or some acetone. Acetone, well, you gotta watch on plastics, but brake cleaner will just pop that right off. Bam. Crack in my plastics here. I don't dig that. Where's that supposed to go? Like that. It's a little trick here. Where is this? That. And I think what we did was, we did one of those, right Simon? And uh, take a look at what we did on the back here. We've cut our mud flaps right off. And then we just used the, the edge of this right here. Now we got our, now we have the ability for our exhaust to blow straight out the back. It gives it a great look and the mud, she's gonna fly. <laughs> It's going to be hot. Take a look at this blade here. I've used this blade a couple times. And just uh, you know, pretty much gave myself a little brand right there. So don't put this down here and then reach across to do something. Now you are going to ruin some blades. They're going to get warped and twisted. You just want them to get nice and hot. One of those just to start. I'm just sort of lightly dragging that through there. But keep
keep every part of your body away from that thing. Now oh, she's like butter, Simon. Because these have deliminated a lot of people. And they do it but fast. Sure, the Kawasaki purists out there are going to be like, "What are you doing? Cutting apart the cow? It's a good bike. How can you do that? You're ruining it." That's how we roll, man. I don't know. It's just what we're doing. We're going to paint these plastics as well. Uh, we're looking for ideas on colors. A little thicker here because we're going through two chunks of plastic. Kawasaki brute force. Not your grandpa's ride anymore. Oh, there we go. Now I'm through it. I'm thinking maybe a, like a copper orange metallic color. We're gonna get it done by uh, Linex. That was Nick's suggestion. Nick on my social media there. Turn that out too. We might even make our own foot wells for here. Not quite sure yet. So that's That's giving you a rough idea about how she's looking. We have that two inch lift kit on here as well. Now she's pretty high. Now we're still waiting for our 28 inch tires. Hopefully they'll be here this week. We need them for a mud run. We're gonna go for a rip with uh, ATV. That's EHTV and NOS ATV. Gonna be fun. Start right here. Bam. People have been asking how I like this brute force, and I do like it. Simon likes it a lot. I've been driving the Can Am a lot. But when this thing's all tricked out, I'm probably going to want to ride it quite often. More heat. Because your old bones need power steering. That's right. <laughs> Getting old. I need that power steering. Might have to install a power steering kit on this. We have demon axles coming for it. Um, Simon whipped up an amazing skid plate kit for it. Works, looks awesome. Keep my hand away from that blade. I don't want to get hurt. Not quite sure to do with, with the lights yet. Now we did the rad relocate. There's a big hole in the front. I think we're gonna put a dual LED light bar there. But we also need to figure out what the output of this beast is so we don't over tax the electrical system. Now right here you've got one of those little clips. We're going to use that to tighten all that up, right? Redrill, mount that again. With this uh, crack here, Simon, we should probably see if we can't just find another piece of plastics for it. The mud is gonna fly, Simon. It's gonna be amazing. I'm still a little kid like that. The rough edge kind of rolls over when you're using that knife on it. One of those. And then I kind of use, then I use the 
long flat surface to come across and take this up, make it as flat as possible. Kind of an eyeballing thing. You know I do the eyeballing. Not too bad. Need a little bit of tidying up. And we have to come back and take out the rest of these stickers. My hand. I got to order a bunch of new clips. These are dirty. The only one thing left to do. We need to fix that that crack there and put some more more power on it. There we go. Done. I think it looks pretty amazing. It looks really fast. I can't wait till our new tires are on there. They're gonna rock. I gotta thank you guys for watching as usual. Do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, check us out on social media, on Facebook, on the, the Instagram. We're there and of course check our website out www.powermods.com for all your ATV and UTV needs. She's stiff now, eh? Right, let's get that winch installed.